All right, YouTube. What's up? It's Isaac Tripods here. Um, Chris and Apple Updater. Um, this is going on both of these accounts, so that is why I said that. Um, this video, as you guys can read by the title, is on the new iPhone and iPod Touch 2.2 firmware. Um, this firmware was released recently, um, around 12 o'clock midnight, um, this morning, November 21st, 2008. Um, after Apple released it, it was da downloaded, and everybody found out what's got on it, and now I did the same. I just upgraded it on my iPod Touch second generation, um, to the 2.2 firmware. Um, did not take that long, so that was good. Um, maybe took about three or four minutes, um, and about uh, two minutes to, uh, down uh, three minutes to download the file itself. So, um, if you guys have 2.0 or higher already, it is free. Um... Alright, um, now let's get on with the features of what it came with. Um, the iPod Touch and iPhone, they both did get updated, but some of the um, updates that were given to the iPhone were not given to the iPod Touch, such as the uh, enhancements or updates to the Google Maps application. Um, so the iPhone does have Google Street View now, but the Apple iPod Touch 2G and 1G do not. Apple iPod Touch 1G and 2G do not have Google Street View. So that's a little downside. I was kind of really looking forward to that, but you know, what the heck. Um, now let me just run down what the new enhancements are, and then I'll just explain them all to you. Um, for the iPhone, for all you iPhone users out there, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, there were many enhancements to the Maps, app Maps application. Uh, Google Street View was added. Um, Street View allows you to uh, go on a virtual walking tour and navigate street-level photographs of places you've located in your Maps application. Um, public transit and walking directions, which allows you to get walking directions, find public transit schedules, check fares, and estimate your travel time. Um, it also will display the addresses of drop pins. Um, you can also now share locations via email. All you have to do is tap the share, tap the, uh, share to location button, and it'll send, uh, an email that includes Google Maps URL. Um, you just choose who you want to send it to. Um... For, once again, for your iPhone users, it has decreased in-call setup failures and dropped calls. So hopefully you guys won't have as much um, dropped calls. Um, some enhancements to mail, to the mail application, um, mail application, um, which are included both on the iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, they have now resolved isolated issues with the scheduling fetching of mail. So when you usually go to set your mail to fetch so it does it for you, um, and sometimes I wouldn't pick it up or take forever. Um, now they've enhanced that and it should not happen to you. You shouldn't have any bugs or glitches with that. Um, they've also improved formatting um, of what HTM HTML emails. Um, podcasts, guys. Podcasts are now available for download in the iTunes application over a Wi-Fi and cellular network. Uh, you can get access to millions of free podcasts uh, to the iTunes store via Wi-Fi or your cellular, cellular network. Um... Let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, improved sound quality uh, of visual voicemail messaging for all you iPhone users out there. Um, also, to the Safari application for the iPod Touch and iPhone, um, it has had, it improved its stability and performance of Safari. Um, there's been a new search-friendly user interface integrated, um, better performance, and more stability makes Safari even easier to use now. Um, you guys thought it was easy to use before? It just got easier, guys. Um, another update for both the iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, the home screen shortcut button now is safe. Um, it allows you to say if you're on any page of your home page, just click the home button. It'll take you back to your original home page. Um, that works on both iPod and iPhone. Um, and also one of the most looking, uh, one of the most things I look forward to about this is the preferences to turn on and off correction, auto correction. Um, for example, when you're typing an email. Um, and also, like I said, uh, Google Street View is not on the iPod Touch yet. Um, Apple plans to eventually add it, but not right now, so we don't know when, but hopefully it will be uh, added. Upgrading is very simple, guys. You, all you have to do is plug in your iPhone or iPod Touch, Check out. Uh, click on your iPod and your iTunes, click Check for Update, um, click that update, it'll download it, it'll extract it, um, it will then verify it, and you'll have it right here. Um, now I'm just going to show you guys a couple of things. 
I can't show you the Google Enhanced Maps with uh, Google Street View and all that because obviously I don't have an iPhone. But I can show you how podcasts are now available for download in the iTunes Store on your iPod. So say you go here, you go into your iTunes, you open it up, and check it out, guys. A new tab right here, excuse me, right there. Um, it says podcasts. You can go there. You can visit the uh, what's hot list the top tens and categories of all the podcasts. Um, you can easily just scroll through it just like you used to um, with the music right over here. You can just scroll right through it. Um, I'm going to go to top tens. Um, I'll go to top tens in iTunes. And I will download the Twilight Meet the Director. So you just click on it then you can click that, it'll say free, and it'll stream right there to your iPod or iPhone. So it looks very good. Um, so that's that. You can now on the podcast um, straight from iTunes. They are usually free. I believe they're almost all free. Um, let's see what else can I show you. I can show you the new Safari, add-on add to Safari right there. Give that a click. As you see now, guys, check out the top bar. It has changed. Um, they have now added that little Google bar right there. Um, say if you click on, uh, sorry about that, click right there. In the regular address bar, you don't get the second Google bar right underneath it. Um, they have moved that to there, as you saw, so you type in here what you want. Say you want, I don't know, let's go with uh, the coolest website ever and let's see what comes up. Um, no, I'm just kidding, we're going to type www.appleupdaters.web, actually, .tk, um, which is my website. It will load very fast. You guys see, I just, I just pressed send and it just loaded. So it is very fast now. Um, guys, that's our website. Um, you can still zoom in like that. It does move when you zoom in, when you're zoomed in, it does move a lot quicker than it used to. Um, I'm going to go to Apple News and Rumors on our site really quick. I'll click that. I'll click that. There we go, it just loaded, I just got to zoom out. And check it out guys, this post that I just posted um, about the iPhone 2.2 firmware. So, if you guys want more information on this, go check out www appleupdaters.webs.com or www.appleupdaters.tk the link will be in the video description um, that is our website um, and like I said the Google bar right up there to the right you can give that a click and it will open up a Google search so say you can type in iPod type in iPod click Google and it will take you right there very fast low time um, now I'm going to show you the autocorrect. You can go into your settings. Open that up. Uh, go into general. Go down to where it says keyboard. Down there where it says keyboard. Then here are all your new options. You can auto correction on or off. Um, click that on. Click that off. Just like that. So that's great. So now when you're typing LOL, um, LMAO, WTF, or whatever you're typing, it won't correct it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go back. Now, um, here's that cool shortcut key. Here's my whole page, right? I'm just going to scroll through leisurely. Oh man, I'm all the way at the last page. I don't want to have to scroll all the way back. What do you do? Click the home screen. You guys saw that? Let me give you a close up. Scroll, you're scrolling through your pages. You don't want to go all the way back. Give the home screen a click. Take you right to the home screen. So that is on both of the iPhone and iPod Touch. So that is a very cool update right there by itself. Um, I will definitely use that a lot. Um, I'm going to have to cut the video short here because it is at 9 minutes. So I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching this. Um, that includes that concludes this video on the iPhone firmware 2.2 for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Favorite, comment, please rate, subscribe, and go check out the AppleUpdaters.tk website. Um, it is our new website. Updates daily, every day. Favorite, comment, and subscribe. Once again, guys, thank you for going to visit that website. Thank you for subscribing. Catch you guys later. Have fun with this update, guys. Peace.